Hiya kids, it's me, your old pal, Woofy the Dog. And today, we're going to discuss proper tea party etiquette. What is etiquette? It's just a fancy word for fancy manners. But first, let me introduce my guests. To my left is my old friend, Doggy the Dog. Doggy the Dog, tell everyone about yourself. Hello, my name is Doggy the Dog. I am the Blues Party Chihuahua. Thank you, Doggy the Dog. And to my right is Sparkles the Cat. Sparkles, tell us a little about yourself. Alrighty then. So, let's get to the tea party. As you can see, we have three cups of tea and a plate of crumpets. The first thing to remember is we use nice manners. For instance, if your neighbor, Mrs. Crabtree, was here, you wanted her to pass the cream, you might say, Uh, Mrs. Crabtree, would you please pass the cream? Then, when she gives it to you, you can say, Why, thank you, Mrs. Crabtree. Doggy the dog, you try it. Ask me to pass you the cream. Okay, just to pass the cream... Mrs. Grabjit. Very good. Wait a second minute. My name is not Mrs. Crabtree. Oh, you're kidding with me, aren't you? I was only kidding you. Very funny. Anyway, Sparkles, you try it now. Okay, okay. Well, that was polite, I, I guess. Now, the other important thing to remember is to always stick your pinky out when you hold your teacup. Uh, Woofy? Uh, yes, Doggy the Dog? I don't have the pinky. Oh, well, just pretend you do. Okay. Now, the tea has been served, so we should each take a small sip. Now? Yes, now is fine, Doggy the Dog. <laughs> Well, what have we learned today? Apparently, there's a little bit of a learning curve when teaching tea party etiquette to cats and dogs. Tune in next time to see what happens when I serve the crumpets. This is Woofy the Dog, signing off. Woof! Who's your friend until the end? The dog.